I'm gonna show you how to migrate your WordPress website to another domain, to another server, to another place. It's all possible. I'm gonna show you in two ways. The first way is the most easiest way with a plugin. It's 100% free, but it's an outdated plugin. You can transfer websites up to 10 gigabyte. Now that's a lot. I don't even have such a big website. Your website will be transferred with just a few simple clicks and uploads. In the description of this video, you will find the link to the direct download. This plugin is also on pluginarchive.com, but I saved you the trouble of searching. You can just click this download button and you'll have the right version right there. The second option is the manual way. If you want to transfer your WordPress website manually, you can just stick around and go to that point of the video and I will show you how to download all the files, download your database, upload all your files to your new server, upload your database to the new server and get it configured so that it works. Either ways, I'm gonna help you out. How do I know how this works? Well, I am the WordPress doctor. I've been building websites since 2001 and since 2004 in WordPress. And I have my national hosting company and a web development agency. And I think I'm moving websites around like every single week. So I know the fastest way to do it, the free way to do it, the funniest way to do it, and let's go and dive in and transfer your website on a safe way. Are you ready? Let's go. So go to your WordPress dashboard of the website you want to transfer to another domain. If you're still logging in with WP Admin, mm, please check my video about WordPress security because this is not a very safe way. So here we are at the dashboard of our website Greenstay, which I want to transfer to the domain name of my client itself. So what we're gonna do, we're going to plugins, add new, you press upload plugin and select the plugin that you just downloaded from the link in the description of this video and press install now. Then we press activate plugin and here you will see that there is a new version of all-in-one WP migration. I know but don't update because it won't work if you do that because this is a old version which is free. Now we go to all-in-one WP migration and we press the export button and we want to export to a file and watch how the magic works. Now we have the entire website and you can download it by pressing this and you can press save this file to your computer. Now you can close this one and you can deactivate this plugin once you have downloaded the file. And delete it because we don't need it anymore. Once you have successfully installed WordPress on your new domain, let's log into that installation. So we go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, and let's select the WP migrator once again, and press install now. We press activate plugin, and we go to the left side, all in one WP migration, we press import. Now here you select the file that we have just downloaded to our PC, and it just starts importing right away. Now after the upload is done, you will see a warning message from All-in-One WP Migrator. This is what it says. The onboard will override your website, including database. So when I press proceed, all the files on the original WordPress installation will be lost. And also the database, everything will be overwritten by this import. Now that's exactly what we want. So press proceed. And we are done, it has been imported. Press close and let's reload the dashboard right now. You will see that I will be locked out. A database update has been required. So we press update WordPress database, press continue. And as you see, now I am pointed back to the login screen and you see immediately the logo changed because that's something I do for all my clients. It just looks smoother. Now let's see if the website is completely the way I designed it before we migrated it and we transferred it. And yes, here is our website on the new domain name. Well, it looks awesome. 
And of course we're gonna check the back end if everything is there as the way we left it. Let's see if all pages are there. Yes, all pages are here. Let's check if all the plugins are also there. Yes, they are. As I told you, I don't use a lot of plugins because it tends to make the system slow down. So don't forget to remove this all-in-one WP migration plugin because it is a very old version. So press deactivate and press delete. So you won't be hacked by keeping a out-of-date plugin. That's the way you can do it with a plugin. Very easy and it works like a charm. Ah, uh, that's awesome! You just migrate your website with the plugin. Now, wasn't that easy? A walk in the park, right? I told you it was easy. Now, stick around if you want to know how you should do it manually. You'll need a couple of things before we can transfer it. You need your Afterpay credentials, you need your database credentials, and of their old server and the new server which you're going to upload to. So, if you got that stuff, then you are ready to go. If you follow the link in the description of this video, you will go to FileZilla. It's a free FTP solution. Now you don't click on this button because you will download a version with all kind of advertisements. You go to uh, download on the left side and you click show additional download options. And here we go and select the version you will need. If you're in a Windows machine, it's probably going to be this one. Click this one and save the file. Alright, when you have installed it, fire up FileZilla and you can connect with your host and your username and your password and your port. If you have these things, fill them in right here and then we can connect our FileZilla. Once you are connected, this is what you will see. These are all the files that WordPress generated in your installation. Just select all everything from WP admin until license.txt and press the right mouse button and click download. Now here you will see that all these files and all these folders will be downloaded to your personal computer or your Mac. This might take a while so grab a cup of coffee and be back when everything is done. Now that we have the files, we also need a database. Remember when I explained in this video about how the WordPress works, we need the database. So when you're logged in with your host, you have to look for PHP MyAdmin. When you have logged into MyAdmin, you will see the database. You click on this database, green stay in my example. Your name ought to be different right here. And you click on export. And all you have to do is click this button on the right corner which says start. We just wait a second and the database will be downloaded to your computer. Save that one because we're gonna need it later on. Now to upload our website to the new domain we don't need to log into WordPress but you do want to have WordPress installed already on your new host. It isn't necessary but it is the easiest way. So let's log into our host and go to the FTP credentials area. So there are a few things you will need. You need the database name, the database password and the username that we use to make connection with the database. And the FTP we would use the username, the password and of course the host name. Now rest assured you don't have to try these information because I deleted them right after creating this video. Alright go to FileZilla and log in with your credentials right here. Now we, have, we are connected to the server, which you will see like something, a folder like this. You will see the CGI bin and the WordPress 01. Now WordPress 01, this is the place where the standard WordPress version has been installed. So what we should do is we select all the files we have downloaded and we drag and drop them to right here. And then a screen pops up and says, what do you want to do? I want to override it and I always want to use this action to the current queue and press OK. And now we just have to wait while it will upload more than 4000 files to our new server. Now when all the files have been uploaded you have to go to the PHP by admin of the new server. And as you can see this database is entirely empty because the database created by our host. So what do we do? We press this import button, we select the file we just have cre created and we press the start button and it will upload the entire database. And as you can see right here 
this entire database has been filled with the right kind of stuff from the website we want to migrate. So now there's one thing we need to do right now. We need to go back to FileZilla and we go to wp-config-php. You press the right button and you press view and edit. Now it will open my notepad and as you can see here is the wp-config. Now in the wp-config there is the information that will we need to connect to the right database. As you can see this is a wrong database because we need the data from the other database. Remember when I just show you we just paste here the database information, the right database, the right password and the right username. And also you have to check the table prefix because this is very important. You will see the database prefix right here. It is those 80v81 underscore. And your prefix has another one in mind because of safety reasons of course. So you just copy this prefix and place it in your wp-config file to make sure that it makes connection to the right one. This one is already okay. So you remove this one until you have your prefix with the underscore. You save this file and immediately you will see that FileZilla asks you the file has changed. Do you want to upload it? And we press yes. Now it has been uploaded and let's check if the website works the way it's intended. And we see a message error establishing a database connection. If you see this message that that means that something is wrong in your WP config file. You have to check those settings again to make sure you didn't make a typo. The database is right, the password is right and the prefix is also right. Now let's check them right now and if you do and refresh the page we will see that our website loads perfectly in order just the way it should. Very awesome. Well done, I'm proud of you. You have just moved your website the manual way. Now, if you encountered any problems at all, if you have questions, leave them in the comments and I will be glad to answer your questions. So, if you like this video, if it helped you out, press that like button. And if you want to know more about my new WordPress videos, you can also always subscribe. If you do like me migrating websites, then you sure like this video about SEO the three pillars of SEO because it will help you out by going the next step with your website. Have a awesome day!